Hi, my name is Ace, and my roommate is an Iron Banner addict. Back when it started, it was perfectly fine. We got along great, he was a great guy, but gosh, we've been struggling with this for what, three years now? I think the first thing that I realized was wrong was his weird obsession with bubbles. I, I didn't think too much of it. I oh, thought maybe this was just some oh, sort of childhood so thing. Supers. He'd be blowing bubbles in the bathtub, he'd be blowing bubbles outside, I, but... <sighs> I, if I had known that that's how it would have started, I would have stopped it right there. I ignored it, but things only got worse and worse. After bubbles, it was bananas, and then he would eat salads, laughing the whole time while he eat these things, and nothing's funny about a salad. He doesn't even like healthy food. Things kind of came to a head with the rubber banding. He couldn't walk straight for five seconds without snapping back to where he was. It honestly got really annoying, but I ignored it for a while. Eventually, any time he would face any sort of problem, he would find the nearest keyboard and start mashing keys. This is when things started to get really, really bad. He would scream on and on about his abilities being on cooldown if he ever got stressed, and I don't know what he even meant by that. I mean, how are keyboards supposed to fix your problems, but that's how his brain works now. I thought that would be it, but oh boy, it only got worse from there. After that, the connection issues started. I'm talking lag, snapping, misinputs, everything you can possibly think of went wrong. He wouldn't be able to open doors. He'd spill his food in his water. It got to the point where I was scared that we might get evicted because he would just lag into somebody else's apartment. At this point in time, I'm honestly considering either getting another apartment or moving states, maybe even just moving countries. I don't know. I wish I could have helped him, but I mean, he's probably gilding that Iron Lord title right now. So don't let this happen to your loved ones. If anything, just stop them from playing Iron Banner. It's all, if that's all you can do, just stop them from playing it. It's a slippery slope and they might not ever come back. If you or someone you know is affected by Iron Banner addiction, you could be entitled to compensation. Please call the number on screen and be the change in somebody's life today. If you call in the next five minutes, we will give you a free t-shirt and a pat on the back. Please help those in need and join us today. Thank you.